Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays, the Binding of Isaac Rebirth Hard Mode Runs. This is weird, but I was recording an episode as Eve, who we are going to play as this time, and then a spirit heart spawned. And, oh, this, is, this saves us a key at least here. One second. It's, oh my god, can't get out of here. I got enough freaking problems without you getting up on my stuff. 7, 1, 9, L, Z, 3, Q, H. Um... Yeah, uh, it spawned a spirit heart, and then my computer just went like over and over and over, and like the animations in Isaac slowed down to like you know one milliframe per second, uh, and it became a bit of an issue. So I stopped recording and uh, restarted my computer, and all that progress was lost. It was an okay run. We were on like depths two or something like that. Disappointed to see it go, um, but that's okay. You know, we'll we'll survive. That was not very good damage on my part. Lazarus's rags from our first item room here is good in the context of this run, but it is something that we have to be a little bit careful about because Lazarus is one of the few characters of which we've actually accomplished some, you know, worthwhile stuff in hard mode. No, 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 you don't understand. You come back here to this uh, spirit heart. Or, I should say, tinted rock, but we know what's inside. Oh, these are just flies. It's gotta be this one, then. wonder if I can, like, force him to get out by coming around. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay, now... Push you I'm gonna push you around. Well, I will. Well, seriously, though. Stop. Stop. Don't play chicken with me, motherfucker. I know how this game goes. Uh, I kind of want to, like... Sounds counterintuitive. But I kind of want to take damage. Like, if you could perhaps walk into me. I know this is gonna... We've already taken red heart damage. So I don't feel like we're gonna be missing out here... Um, when it comes to a deal with the devil, and if we, oh, okay, <laughs> if we were missing out, we were going to be missing out already. Oh, that's so good. We got the D6 as Eve, uh, but the reason I did this is so that I could uh, come down here and get uh, that going on. So now, we have Whore of Babylon plus the D6, and I would say a pretty good chance at snagging a deal with the devil here. But we'll see. I don't want to go down to the next floor yet, but we have been to both item rooms. The main reason I want to keep exploring after this is so that we can actually, um... Maybe get some extra D6 charges, depending on what our bosses drop, but, uh... Also get some consumables so that we're safe for the next floor. But a Curse of the Labyrinth is actually, like, a really good thing. Now. Uh, especially on hard mode. Because you don't need two keys, you actually need zero. And we can pick up one heart here without ruining... Or Babylon. I'm not sure how I feel about Mysterious Liquid, to be honest with you. Your experimental treatment, I think, is what it's called. Because there actually is an item called Mysterious Liquid. It gives it, like, the toxic aura effect, I think. But, um... I don't know. We'll see. For now, I'm saving my D6 for uh, what I hope is a... Well, an already decent deal with the devil. We also did take... Uh, on the last run that was actually recorded... Assuming that one actually recorded properly... We got Tiny Planet Mom's Knife. And I learned that that is one of the few synergies of the game that, while absurd and ridiculous... And that's, you know, those are things that I value... We don't want to touch it again with a 10-foot pole. So we'll take our HP upgrade here. I understand that the problems associated therein. And we will take this. It gave us... It didn't give us an HP up, which means that we probably benefit... Oh man, our damage sucks, actually. Our damage is already bad-ish because we got rid of uh, Horror of Babylon, but I thought that we would stand to make it better because we had a lot of stats that were, like, very positive. But we've almost got, like, soy milk damage right now. That's that's really not good. Like, really, really not good. Um, so, getting into our Whore of Babylon state has really never been more important. I should have re-rolled the crap out of that. It's a shame because I like experimental treatment, but... You know, it does have the potential to burn you as bad as we just got burned. And it wouldn't be so bad if our rate of fire was actually good, but it's not. So, we're really just kind of stuck here. Well, there you go, you know? I was like, we had Eve's default damage. I really thought that there was almost no way that experimental treatment could make that worse, yet here we are. I guess it's because, you know, our, our rate of fire also got a little shittier. But our range is out of control, though, dog. Like, we could... You... You want to do some William Tell bullshit? I could shoot an arrow into an apple. Uh, from 300 kilometers away. Unfortunately, because of our tears, it would just bounce off the apple and then harmlessly fall to the ground, but... You know what I'm talking about. 
there are a lot of uh, a lot of good things going on over here. If we could just <laughs> oh, there are enemies. Okay, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of good consumable options. If I could just get a single uh, bomb, get a key out of it. I hate this right now. Bomb. Oh, we got a key, which you know, cut out the middleman, I guess. <sighs> da, 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 da. Da, na, 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 na. Mm, there are still other rooms down here. I find myself, I gotta be honest, I gotta be true to myself, I find myself wanting to restart, but I'm not going to. Because I know, you know, the, the, the night's always uh, dankest before the dawn. This guy's a. Oh, that's not good. We're gonna lose, like, all of the spirit arts that we worked so hard to get and maintain. To put us in permanent horror Babylon state. Wherever you die, please drop your consumable out here. Fudge you, Tony. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go. I'm not gonna restart. We have the D6. It can benefit us. We can pick up some damage upgrades. Those those always exist. So, well, preferably, we can make them exist with the D6. No curse, no curse. Okay, so catacombs. I don't love it. Because, you know, these enemies are going to take 75 hits each to kill. And this is going to be incredibly laborious. But all we got to do, get a deal with the devil. Trade. Well, pick up any damage upgrade that we can. Be careful. Uh, trade it away for good stuff. Or trade HP away for good stuff, I mean to say. How, how is it that I can get so unlucky with Eve runs? This is not like, oh, poor me. But seriously... First time, Mom's Knife, Tiny Planet. I'll take it, because I'm a thrill seeker. Well, thrills were sought, and thrills were lost, unfortunately. Then, good, decent run. Well, I'm not going to lie to you and say it was truly incredible, but we had permanent horror Babylon State, because we were rolling exclusively on Spirit Hearts, and it looked like we had a pretty good chance. We picked up items like, uh, you know, the Pact, and so on, um, to help us out. Pentagram showed up again as well. Fat Odd Mushroom, I think, showed up again. Lazarus' Rags was actually on that one as well. And then, you know, beyond something bad happening in Isaac, my computer was just like, you know what? I'm just going to hard crash instead. Fuck your run. Hopefully, that doesn't happen on this run, but I'm going to be permanently paranoid about it. But then this run, experimental treatment, like a one in six chance of making our damage absolute horseshit, and it made our damage absolute horseshit. I'm just going to hang out down here. I thought I could get out of the... You know, if I had timed it more properly, I probably could have gotten out of the way of that. This is lovely. I love taking six shots to kill these assholes. What do I think our chances are of actually, like, beating the boss without taking damage? Nearly zero. If we haven't already fucked our deal with the devil chances, they might get fucked. Like... That's dead bird is our is our principal damage dealer right now. Do you understand how sad that is? Let's do it. That's a double room. T oh, good. Okay, so weirdly enough, like Gemini is not so bad, and our speed is such that we can easily, you know, navigate away from them. But good God, the amount of time it is going to take to do this is just staggering. Are you seeing the HP tick down here? To be honest with you, I'm not sure if I have the patience to even continue onwards with this run. This is just one of those things where it's like, you gotta have some fucking mercy, man. I don't want HP at this point. Like, it's really just damage. We don't even have a single bomb to help us out here. We should sing, like, some... You know, notoriously long song in order to figure out what's actually longer, that song or this fucking fight. In the god of the Gemini, baby. Don't you know we'll be here till the day you die? I don't know. I've, I've never heard that song past the first lyric, so I just kind of like uh, continued on with it. This is lovely, by the way. I'm very excited for when we kill one of the big Geminis, and then uh, the little Geminis start flying around, and every time we hit them, it does one one hundredth of their total HP, and then they fly off to another part of the map, not to be seen for uh, several seconds. Wouldn't it be nice if we did damage? I'm actually, in a way, I'm actually happy that we took damage right there, because at least it can speed up this fucking charade. 
And what pisses me off the most about this is that, like, we're not even doing, like, we have no damage. Even with Horde Babylon, we're doing jack shit. But, we have no HP either. Like, we had the same amount of HP that we should have had, I think. Maybe we got one more. It's like we didn't even get a, a ton of HP for the, the penalty that we're suffering here. To have some sweet mercy game. Squeezy is fine. At least we've learned now. We have to stay in Horror Babylon. If we get out of our Horror Babylon state, we're just done. We can't do damage to anything. In the Horror Babylon state, we actually have a chance in hell, at least. Like, of being able to at least, you know, intimidate enemies. Please be dead. Oh my god. Get, get the fudge away. There we go. Oh, we found our secret room. Okay. I don't know, man. Like, this run, I've been negative. Now that I see how, how much damage we're doing with Horror Babylon, it's probably just by uh, virtue of the fact that we were doing so little damage before. But I'm actually feeling a little bit more confident. We have no extra bombs, but when we get them... We will go into our curse room, for sure. For sure. I'll take Ludovico. I think Ludovico technique is actually very good. Now, with, um... That was terrible. Um, with... Without Horror of Babylon, this is still awful. With Horror of Babylon, we're doing enough damage that I can at least say, like... You know, there, there's outs for us. Like, we could beat the boss on the next floor. With the, the supply of spirit hearts that, right now, that we have right now, we could beat the boss on the next floor. Without taking red heart damage. Then we get to deal with the devil. We get, you know, our damage upgraded somewhat. And life's, uh, life's, uh, life's your uncle. Don't, don't go down. You stay up. Ooh, careful. Alright. See, like, again... We're not going to be breaking any world records for damage or anything like that, but at least, at least it's okay. Just don't pick up red hearts for the love of farkin' God. Down to the next floor. No deal with the devil, right? Yeah. Okay. I can't stress this enough, self. Do not pick up any red hearts. If you pick up red hearts, you're going to end up eating shit forever. The only way- sometimes, you know, you gotta hurt yourself to help yourself. You gotta hit rock bottom in order to give you the impetus to get back up, right? That's why I'm not even gonna take this pill yet, because it could be something like full health. But I'll take it with me for the future. Welcome to the future. Anyway. More keys. I like it. I love it. I have enough of it. Doesn't really have the right ring to it, does it? But that's uh, a plea for moderation you're not likely to hear from, from Toby Keith. I like it. I love it. No thanks, I'm good. Now. You just stay away here. We really, really, really gotta try to keep this this uh, spirit heart alive. Gotta keep that guy from putting us inside of the bone zone. Probably hearing some clickety clackities right now. Don't worry about it. It's just, you know, you gotta do it when you're, when you're doing Ludovico technique. It's not so bad. So many uh, advantageous deals with the devil for me. The ability to fly would be better than the strawberry pie that James Franco eats in Spider-Man 3. And that was so good. Mystery sack. Getting re-rolled into something I can't pick up. So I'll probably end up... It's a weird one. It's a very weird one, Mr. Grinch. I'll probably end up picking it up, but not until after we fight the boss, presumably. We have one surplus key. I'm gonna open this. We got a bomb for a key and, and some money in the process. This is so important for us. Don't let these fudge fudgers get to you. Almost said something very rude there just because I'm on this, you know, fudge kick right now. I don't even like fudge as a as a you know a cuisine that much. There's something about saying fudge that is actually like, because it's, it's, because fuck is said so often, fudge actually has like a little bit more of a punch associated with it. I think. Mega fatty. So I made, uh, I made a decision to re-roll Mystery Sack. 
by making that decision, it means that uh, I can't reroll this item or the deal with the devil item. But I also made a decision to continue to choose to fight Mega Fatty right away because I really sincerely think that this is my best chance to, to get a deal with the devil. If we don't get one here, I wouldn't say all is lost. But this would be so useful if we could just get a damage upgrade. Really, like, just give me a damage upgrade here. Easy fight. We got a damage upgrade from the boss. And then, not Krampus, Gimpy. I'll take it. Because I want to ensure that we have deal with the devil precedent. And I don't want to use these red heart containers anyway. If I could get away with not using these red heart containers, I would very much prefer to do so. So we should, uh... We should definitely crack these bad boys open because we want to make sure that we, if possible, can uh, get enough money to make our shop worthwhile. So close to picking that up. It probably, at this point, with one damage upgrade, it wouldn't be as bad for us to pick up uh, HP. But I'd really, really rather not. But are we going to reroll less than three? I don't know. <laughs> It seems wrong to reroll an HP upgrade, but we have no other pedestals except for the shop. And we, oh, now we definitely will, well, almost certainly get the money necessary to uh, get into that shop. That's a lot of red hearts. That's a ton of cash. Uh, we're gonna. I'm thinking. <laughs> I think this might be our secret room here. Okay. Let's let's do some exploration first. There goes our spirit heart. So my hope is that on the shop we will have. Um, hmm. My hope is that on the shop we'll have uh, maybe a spirit heart and a good item. Because let's be honest, as much as I say like I don't really want to reroll less than three, just be very careful on each one of these rooms. Just to see if there's spikes when you go in. I really do want to reroll less than three. Let's be honest. In my brain, there's nothing more exciting than kind of subverting the expectation. But it looks like we're we're probably going to end up getting coins. And if we did get the steam cell, I'm just going to pick it up. Like I did. And uh, this this is a decision that may end up killing me. But I'm going to reroll less than three. I, I like it a lot. Um... Now, this does not mean that this was the right decision, because I could still quite conceivably end up dying. But, I do... I, I'm okay with this decision now, because at least we got a pretty sweet item out of it. And, you know, the penetrative damage is meaningless, because Ludovico Technique does that anyway. But the damage upgrade is quite nice. It might be high time... Uh, for us to actually pick up some red hearts, even though it'll lower our damage. We have no spirit hearts. Um, let's see if this is balls of steel. It's 48 hour energy. If I'd known that, we might have done things slightly differently, but... Oh uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna pick up some red hearts. That's gonna make our scythe a little bit less damaging. But I think it strikes a pretty clean balance between... You know... Damage and HP, basically. We only have 2 HP and we lowered our damage a little bit, but this will allow us to stay alive a little bit longer, probably. And all we really need to do is snag one sweet ass deal with the devil, and maybe we start pulling this out. But this is a it's a it's a run that's very unusual. No question about that. Curse of the Lost, we can't see. We will not be doing boss rush mode on this run, almost certainly. That room would have been a lot scarier if I had not uh, gotten rid of or if I had not kept uh, full HP. We could walk over that and just be killed instantly. Good to know. Finally, some enemies. And again, you know, even though we don't have uh, Horror of Babylon active right now, we're doing good damage. I was actually, I, I should have done this. What I was thinking is we would, like, walk into some fire there. And then, uh, pick up the black heart. But maybe we should just pick up the black heart and try to play this kind of normally. Because I don't want to do anything that could lower our chances of getting a deal with the devil. They're already low enough as is. Due to the fact that we got one on the last floor. Pin's like the ideal enemy for us. Even if our our damage is not absurd, we can hit so many bodily segments at the same time. 
And of course, the more uh, the more pins that show up, or the more the more uh, pins that we kill, the easier it is to kill the ones that do show up. Is what I mean to say there. When you stay over here, they have a pretty predictable kind of like spawning pattern. There you go. Spawn like right there. Oh, I was slightly off. It's alright, then you pop out and I hit every single one of your segments 15 times. And then we'll do the same song and dance again. And then you maybe will be dead. There you go. Okay, not so bad. Not so bad at all. Just trying to line this up. Well, there's an easier way. Okay, that, that definitely was not our secret room then. Oh, this is bad. I'm... I'm fine with this. Um, okay, so our secret room won't be there. Just running some math here. <laughs> well, some like mental cartography, not really math. Our secret room will not border our item room. Just based on the kind of uh, architecture of the level. There's no way that secret room is going to be on the top level next to them. Unfortunately. So hopefully we get some keys, but this is a big moment. The bloat. Not an easy boss. You know, I would love to say, not an easy boss, but not that hard either. But no, this, this dude's a pain in the ass. Yep, and there we go. Totally blew it. Fantastic. It's the fucking eyes, man. What a well-designed boss, though. I mean this sincerely, even though it sounds like I was using my sarcastic voice. This is my real voice. Um, it's, uh... I was, yeah, that was a Tommy Lee Jones Man of the House reference. You are correct. Although Cedric the Entertainer, let's be honest, he really made that movie tick. These eyes force you to move, which makes you so much more likely to get in the path of the actual lasers. We're so close to making that work so much better for ourselves. It's a speed plus range upgrade. I gotta reroll that. That's damage plus range. It's a little bit more beneficial for us. Obviously. Now it's really, this is the key show now. If we can just get some keys, I'll be so much happier. Now we really also need to pick up these red hearts that are around here. I don't trust myself to not take damage. And uh, really, again, survival's the most important thing because we're just trying to survive long enough to get carried. Lock up. Was kind of hoping it was bombs or key. I'm going to use a bomb here to maybe get a tarot card. I'm going to do the same here. I know it's risky. There's probably better options for us in the future. Burkano is companionship, which is not terrible. It's not immediately incredibly useful, but it's not terrible. We got to be able to get something on this floor, right? Like, you got to give me one key at least. They don't have to. I mean, obviously, they literally just don't, but... Uh, I'd, I'd feel annoyed if that's the way it worked out. If that's the way you want to play a game, that's that's not really fair. I think I've done a, a pretty admirable job of being a nice guy on this Isaac run thus far. Like, I've, I've done some stuff that was in the interest of entertainment, and we've got some items that are entertaining. Hi, I'm Tane, your latest dancer. I'm here to entertain you. Now, Tane, I can get into... All right, now that I've become Friday Night Magic with, uh, it's not Friday Night Magic, sorry, uh, Magic 2015 with, with Rob and Nick. Let's move on a little bit here. Well, it's one of the benefits of having quote-unquote full health is that we can come in here. Spirit hearts, please and thank you. Pills. Pills are good because there could be a bombs or key pill in there. This is fine. These are actually some of the easiest enemies I could imagine having to kill at this point in the game. Although, we're not quite fast enough with our uh, Waka Waka laser. Is that really what I'm going to call this item? A Waka Waka laser? When it's clearly a scythe? We got it. Like, the only reason it's connected to Waka Waka is because we got it for beating the Waka Waka challenge. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah? No. But, tell you what. We will get to Whore Babylon State, because there is another red chest back there. Oh, no, there wasn't. There were just pills. Range down. Not a big deal. 48-hour energy. Uh, okay, so we can use Burkano. 
and then take 48 hour energy with us. Which would be pretty useful. Constantly walking that fine line of whether or not we want to be in the Whore of Babylon state because of the lack of HP it gives us. Uh, it's another weird one because bombs we should use to get spirit hearts, but we could also use them to uh, get tarot cards. Or black hearts for that matter. It's a, it's a tough call because it seems like the tarot cards could be so much more meaningful. But the spirit hearts could be the only thing that guarantees our survival. <laughs> Oh, come on. Work with me here. Allow me to visit the item room. Please and thank you. Alright, well. Three bombs for one spirit art is not an enormously fantastic trade for us. But. Here we are. Uh, I don't know. Where the, where the, how, how do we get out of here? Letting the days go by. Seriously, though. Uh, uh, okay. I can't be too salty about this. Uh, you know, we we did okay. I think it's over here, right? We did okay. I think we did our best at trying to get to that item room. And the shop. The fact that we can't is disappointing, but not 100% our fault. I still think we've got a pretty good chance of beating Mom's heart here, but it's it's been a colossally strange run. We're on the depths instead of Necropolis, thank God. How's our damage looking? It's okay. It might even be a little bit less than you would expect for this point of the game on an average run, but given the kind of the lows that we've had, this video is sponsored by Lowe's, by the way. Given the lows that we've had on this run, I feel pretty good about it, nonetheless. We're, we'll probably end up fighting in there. Just to have a chance to get a key. Oh, this is an easy gurgling situation here. Uh, yeah, because there's our item room, and I, I really don't want a repeat of last floor, but it's kind of out of our hands. No boss rush room. This is Depths 2. Yeah, so we're not going to be fighting our boss right away as much as I would like to because we have our rerolls ready. Alright, this is great. Easy. Bony's not so bad. Low on HP. Bombs we will use uh, as necessary. This is what I like. Multiple fairly easy enemies. Oh, come on. Would it kill you to give me like... Yeah, I was just going to say, would it kill you to give me one key? And clearly the answer to that question is no. Because we are all still here. Now with these rerolls ready, should probably go to our... Ah, there we go. That's what I was waiting for. Our item room is ready. In the interest of... Let's be honest. Laziness. I'm going to just try to finish off the entire floor first. What the hell? Well, we're lucky that there's a blood bank, because I am going to ruin my uh, Horror babylon this here. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Nun's Habit is pretty good. That is good. This is okay, because we'll get five bombs for seven cents, which is great. Then we reroll it. And I don't think the piggy bank is that good for us in this situation, so let's buy our battery. Reroll piggy bank again into blue map. That's pretty good. Then we'll donate the rest of our money. And we still have 48 hour energy left for later. Pretty solid. Now, there's another battery left back there. I didn't even uh, realize. Let's check out our secret rooms. We didn't even need to use a key to get into our shop there, unfortunately. Well, I mean, it's unfortunate now. We have the keys, though, so it's not the end of the world. Blue Baby's soul, I guess, is fine. Two keys left still. Ah, oh, this is good. Oh, Gimpy, thank you. That was a really good payout from Gimpy. We'll also play our regular Judgment over here. As you might expect, I was kind of hoping that that second secret room would have a bunch of red hearts in it. That's pretty sweet too, though. Is this where we finally start to turn the tide back in our favor? So Guppy's head is like 
not amazing, but it's pretty good. And we also have the advantage of having another uh, reroll that we can just immediately use on it and pick up little brimstone. Which, we're not going to be able to charge our shots that often, but well we can, we might as well make use of it. Um, so I'm going to try to blow up just the key beggar here. That was not a good decision. Okay. I'm going to blow up just one blood bank. It's an eternal heart. I, I do want to take that eternal heart. Do we have any red hearts just kind of chilling? Well, well, we'll do some exploration first. Um, I do want to take the eternal heart, and it will be uh, beneficial for us. And little brimstone plus Ludovico technique. I can already tell it's, it's breaking my brain. Should probably should not have taken it actually, but oh well. Yeah, we'll just we'll we'll focus on just aiming with um with Ludovico and any damage that we do with Brimstone. We'll just it's gravy basically. Said gravy, you gonna be the one that saves me. It's all right. I'll wait. We still have to go to our item room. So we will. And we might want to go to our boss rush room as well. Ideally, I would like to get a... Okay, well, does this work for us, really? It kind of seems really good, right? But I doubt those sites do like any damage whatsoever. But it could be fun. So you know what? Fuck it. Let's go with it. This could be this could be interesting at least. And let's just let's give it the old college try here. It'll, it's you know at least deal with a lot of the riffraff that we face. I haven't really encountered too many situations in which uh, Isaac's tears are actually very good. So I'm always looking for opportunities. And there, this is not necessarily one of those situations. It definitely seems like Tammy's head would be like better for us. But the other thing worth noting is that with um, with Isaac's tears, oh that was bad. When we use them, I can't move my Ludovico tier. So we should like put it in a place where it's guaranteed to do some damage and then use it if we can. But that's a that's a pretty high order ask for for someone of my level. The D6, by the way, there's no question about it. The D6 is probably like the, the much smarter choice, especially considering we have nuns have it. I didn't take that eternal heart either. That was really dumb to just kind of like walk in here. I was like, am I missing anything? No. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, bro. You're, you're good. We'll take our Polaroid for sure. Now we have permanent Polaroid invincibility along with everything else. And we got a Krampus fight. It charges so quickly, it's it's a very sexy spacebar item right now because it charges so quickly and it shoots out these fucking sights, but it really doesn't do very much damage. Krampus's head might be better, but I feel like I've kind of made my bed. Let's lie in it here. If I had taken the Eternal Heart, I would have lost Horror Babylon there, by the way, so at least keep that in mind. But by taking that half Red Heart, I did ruin um, my... Permanent Polaroid invincibility, but at least I still have the Horror Babylon active effect. Fucking lumps, man. Man, this does shit damage. But all we really need to do is beat uh, Mom's Heart. If I could do this over again, and I was just 100% only concerned with the win, what I would do is um, pop my... 48 hour energy on Isaac's jar of tears. Then we could have re-rolled it, you know, at least two times, maybe three. Uh, at least three times, maybe four. No, at least two times, maybe three. Um, and we could have gotten something perhaps a little bit more worthwhile out of it, but I'm not displeased with the decision I made, because it's at least interesting. Oh my god, did you hear the click clack in there? I was freaking out, dog. Oh, he weaseled his way through there. Oh, man. Okay. Well, it, at least it, uh, you know, kept the 
other neutral parties at bay here. A blood bank. Kind of interesting, actually. Because every extra red heart that we get, and we'll go back and pick them up here, we can gamble them away, and we have a chance to gain a spirit heart from Gimpy, and the chance to, well, mostly just gain a spirit heart from uh, Gimpy, but also put ourselves in a situation where we can actually uh, da, 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 have permanent Polaroid invincibility, which is pretty useful. But again, if I gamble uh, more, this actually will take our spirit heart. Ah, yep, 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 this is bad. I gotta take it. Man, these side. Why is Isaac's Jar of Tears so bad, Ed? Answer me these questions three, okay? I'll just walk you into this shit, I don't care. Um, like, it, it feels like. It it should be better, right? I'm not just being super whiny. I mean, I am, but not just being super whiny. This is not great for me right now. We can still get a deal with the devil. All could be forgiven. Two guppy items. Nine lives. That ain't Falco. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> I liked it. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing how that decision actually, you know, it's had some pretty catastrophic impact on this run. I might as well just take it. It's remarkable to think of uh, how differently things could be right now. If I had just re-rolled this and taken um, the D6 further, further in with me. Oh, that's so bad. We would have been able to reroll lump of coal or uh, Krampus's head too into something. Maybe it was another guppy item, and maybe you get the win out of that. I, I'll accept criticism for that. It was a bad decision for this. I should say it was a bad decision. Don't like this very much. Yep, that's uh, you've determined the reason why. Oh, but Gimpy here to save the day. Super fighting robot. I'd like to stay in the horror Babylon state if we can. Thank Gimpy. I love you. I know. That's my impression of Gimpy. It's got kind of a muffled voice, if you didn't hear. Alright, dub Loki. That's okay. That's not a problem. Now, here's where the real value lies in Jar of Tears, is that we can use it while we're already in, like, a, a position that's doing damage. So, it is just extra damage. It's not very much of it, though. We got Placenta. That's it. No deal with the devil. Might as well take ourselves out of Horror Babylon State now because we're never going to be able to stay in it. All we got to do is beat Mom's heart. Curse of the Un... Oh, jeez. I full screened that by accident. I hit F when I was stretching and then our game is going to lag probably forever now. Oh, thank God. I was like, at least let me bank an Eve run here. As you might expect, Curse of the Unknown scares the shit out of me. Thank you. Because I know I don't have very much HP. I would like to uh, at least beat Mom's heart. Generally speaking, with book or um, blue map, I tend to think that our second secret room has a bit of a tendency to be close to our uh, our boss room. Oh, that's real bad. Well. The one thing is, with, with Eve, we do have a bit of a tell. With Curse of the Unknown, we'll get a message telling us we're in the Horror of Babylon state. And then we'll know we only have one, one hit point left. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Placenta, as well. Now it's going to be impossible to know how much HP we have. Okay. Good. Can't even pick that up, but it's good to know that it's there. And the the logic was real this time. 
I am I'm very confident that we can beat mom's heart. Just make sure you take care of the, the bullshit first. You know who you are. And at least we can get the item, if not fill out the post-it note. And we've, we've learned yet another valuable lesson about synergy, which is don't believe the lies. Oh my god, it's my alarm! I can't handle it! Why is my alarm going off at 4 p.m.? What the hell? I, don't worry, I don't have an appointment or anything right now. I'm just uh, a little bit uh, out of sorts. That scared the shit out of me. So we like to get Isaac's tears charged up with Ludovico technique. We literally literally have to move the tear like a pixel. Thank you, little brimstone. I should be using you more often here. Yeah, fuck Isaac's tears. Let's get a little brimstone charged up. How's my HP? I think it's still good because we haven't seen the Horror of Babylon ask yet. Oh, that is, that's where we get into trouble. Good, good shit. Ran in there, picked up the HP. Thank you, dead bird. Oh, that's bad. We made it. And we unlocked Crow, baby. I have no doubt in my mind that that's going to be a shitty item. Or is this, are these just babies for co-op? These are probably just babies for co-op play now that I think about it. We have one HP. Wow, I uh, I didn't realize how close we came to death there. Now we're almost certainly gonna die right here, and to be honest with you, we deserve it. This run could have been a lot better, but I'm content with our progress at, at least, and we can, you know, justify playing as another character next time. Forgot that we had Lazarus's rags as well. You know, it's no Judas' shadow, but it will keep us alive a little bit longer. Oh, thank you, thank you very much for the quarter. I look forward to using that in a very uh, advantageous way. Hey, 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 your spirit heart's down here, dog. You see that? Blow that shit up. Good. Good dodging. Oh, well, we blew it. We don't even have any bombs left over at our disposal right now. Plenty of keys. Isn't that a turn of events? If we fucking win this run, man. We've done dumb stuff like this before, but this would take the cake. Give me bombs rod and head so I can say F you to Isaac's Jar of Tears. This is the most ironically named item. Because it makes me cry every time I pick it up. It always tricks me, man. I know, I've been saying stuff like, man, Isaac's Tears is never good. But then I pick it up and I go, but maybe? Wait, this, this is that quote from like the Royal Tenenbaums. It's like, everyone knows that General Custer died at the Battle of Little Bighorn. But what this book presupposes is, maybe he didn't? It's like, you know... It's a fact that Isaac's Jar of Tears is shitty, but what if it isn't? Well, yeah, but it is. There you go, I've, I've just explained the joke for you, in case you were, in case you were curious, but a little bit uh, out, of your, out of your depth there, with the incredibly cerebral comedy of Northern Lion, youtube.com slash Northern Lion, video game player, extraordinaire. Emphasis on the ordinaire. And I teach you your French word of the day, you ready? Ordinateur means computer. Ordinateur. Je voudrais un ordinateur. I would like a computer. Bon voyage dans la ordinateur. That means bon voyage in the computer. <laughs> like good good trip in the computer. That's how I describe the internet. It's a good trip in the computer. I'm not very pleased with my uh, position right here. This is better than our other Gemini fight, though. At least Gemini didn't end up killing us like I had prognosticated that it would. I think I just straight up walked over that dude's creep and got super lucky and didn't get hit somehow. Good. We can't even pick up HP. Like, there's a tinted rock, but we can't get it because we have no bombs. Oh... Fark this room. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. You know, we tried. That was a good run. Ish. We at least beat Mom's heart. I hope you guys had a good time. I had a good time. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, though.